Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I said in my last video that it had been a minute, but you see I'm back again. I'm, I think I'm back for good. I think that we're going to be consistent. I think I'm back. I think I got my life a little bit more under control and we're ready to do this thing. I'm so excited about this video because I did not think that this was going to all line up. I got boxes next to me. I like don't usually do like big unboxing hauls because I usually buy like one thing at a time and it's usually a bag. I don't buy a lot of small other goods or like accessories and things like that but none of these are bags and they're all like really cool things that I'm really excited about. What I've been trying to do lately just to explain a little bit is make my collection a lot smaller but have pieces that I love a lot more instead. So I have been selling things like crazy and I will do a video about bags that I've sold and why and I will do an updated handbag collection video because things have changed let me tell you that. And I've also sold some shoes like I just shipped out another pair of shoes today. So, I mean, things have honestly been changing so much lately that these are pieces that I'm adding to my collection because I genuinely, truly love them and I'm so excited about them. And these are all things that were paid for by selling other items, which is pretty cool too. And I've kind of been doing like a two or three out, bringing one in. Like, so if I buy one new item or like I sell three items and I can get one new item. So it's kind of about the ratio that I've been going with. I am about to start a no buy, probably like three to six months kind of thing. Like, so go three to six months, however long. I haven't decided yet without buying anything that is luxury, no clothing, like no regular clothing either, like no handbags, stuff like that. Because I really do just want to have very intentional pieces in my collection. And I feel like when you are purchasing too consistently or like you get obsessed and like you're just like buying more and more things, it's not good because it's, it's, it's going to create a collection that you don't necessarily love. And that's how you kind of fall into buying trend pieces too, I feel like. So I really want to be very intentional about my collection and about what I have in my possession at any given moment. So that is what I'm going to do. But right now, I wanted to add these pieces because I want to make sure that I have a solid collection that I'm at peace with before I do that. So I am planning on starting to like not buy anything once I move, which is in two and a half weeks. Um, I am moving from Arizona to California. In case this is for your first time on my channel, um, I have lived in California before, I moved to Arizona, I moved back to California. Um, so just kind of all over the place, but and things are a mess behind the camera right now. Everything is everywhere. This does not look cute back here. I'm going to take this out. I don't like it. And it's empty too. Ew, no. So we're going to take that out. Anyway, let's just go ahead and get into the video because I'm excited. Grab a drink, grab whatever you want because this is going to be a good one. I think, I think I'm going to go with this one first. If you guys order from Fashion File a lot, you probably recognize the tape. I know I do. <laughs> um, one thing about me, if this is your first time here, first of all, thank you for being here and consider subscribing if you want to, you know, come join the family because we have fun over here and I got some exciting stuff coming up. But anyway, um, I order from Fashion File a lot because I tend to buy pre-loved items, pre-loved items, and that is my favorite way to purchase. I like saving money that way. Hey. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. You taking this in your video right now? Yeah. Okay. How do you know that? <laughs> hey, what was I saying before that? I think I was talking about how I like to buy pre-loved items. I feel like that is the best way when it comes to savings for most items and also when it comes to like kind of a sustainability standpoint too. Like I really do like buying pre-owned items. Um, I also like to really shop consignment shops. I just feel like you get you get the best deal for your money. Like it's the best use of money for me. And then also it's it's not adding to waste. So <laughs> it's not adding to like making more new waste. So I kind of like that too. But yeah, I tend to purchase from Fashion File just because I really trust them. And I think that I think that a lot of their prices, if you really look, are pretty fair. I think that they do have some items that are overpriced definitely but like if you keep an eye on them and like you check for them to go on sale because they do reduce those prices a lot um then i think they're a great place to shop honestly i actually don't know which one this is there's two boxes from fashion file i don't know which one this one is um oh i know what this is <laughs> there's some confetti in here i always throw the confetti but there's been so little confetti lately i don't know and which is fine i mean i get it it's not a big deal Maybe we'll have some more in the other box, but there we go. All right, so my thank you and my receipt stuff. All right. Okay. Let's 
little sticker says used is the new new, which I agree. <laughs> okay, now we have an orange box. And I bet you didn't see this one coming because I don't think I ever said it, but this is an item that I never thought that I would buy, honestly. <laughs> I was like, that's that's dumb and that's a lot of money and why would I do that? But, <laughs> however, this is how I got here. I sold quite a few bags and I had a credit with Fashion File. You get an extra 10% if you sell to them and then you use it as a store credit. So once I bought my Kelly bag, I had some left over and I was like, you know what? I'm going to a new place. I want one of these and I'm really excited about it. So <laughs> I didn't realize you'd be able to see it as soon as I opened the thing, but it's got a fashion file dust bag. <laughs> and then it's got this beauty right here. So this is an Hermes blanket. Now, oh my God, it's so pretty, I love it. I wanted something that was gonna go with my new room really well and I'm so excited. Oh my God, this is so soft. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I'm so happy with this. Like, I, I never thought I'd buy one of these because they are expensive. I found one that I felt was a good price on Fashion File and I had my credit. So I was like, you know what? This is just gonna sit at the, the like the, the bottom of my bed. And I really want something nice. Like my room is gonna be pretty simple at the new place. And I really want something nice to put in and I'm gonna be using like mostly neutrals in my room, which I've never really done before. Um, but I wanna I wanna do something that's gonna be like really nice and look good. And I think that this just goes perfectly and it's an even more beautiful color in person, I feel like. And it still has the tag on it. That's, uh, it's just beautiful. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to put this. Oh, I can't wait to put this in my new home. <laughs> oh, this is probably the piece that I was like most excited about about this out of this whole haul. Like. I don't know how to get it to fold back the way that it was before. This is the piece that I was most excited about though. And I was a little bit worried about the color because, oh wow, there's just, it's like the back part of it is gray and I thought that it was gonna look more like the back of a blanket, but it still looks like it could be the front of a blanket. So I think that I could honestly like fold this up and put it on whatever side I wanted to, but this is the front and it has this beautiful yellow going through it. And this was, this was honestly, this is like a dream. Oh my God, I love it. Anyway, I won't talk too much about the blanket. I'm sure there are some really like way more in-depth videos about Hermes blankets and Hermes home stuff. I honestly don't know a ton about it. I just, I really wanted my new room to look all like Pinteresty and cute. So I bought this and I figured if I don't like it at some point, I can always resell it. How did they fit this in the box? <laughs> I'm telling you, if you guys saw what's behind the camera, you'd be like, your place is a disaster. This is not okay. But I'm moving so that makes it fine. <laughs> Next up is also a box from Fashion File. This is an item that I have a different size of already and I'm going to sell the other size of it because I think this one's gonna work better for me. Oh, I got a new phone, guys. Isn't this cute? I got the Galaxy Flip, Galaxy Flip 3. Oh my God, I love it. It's the best because it fits in like little tiny bags and stuff. Anyway, in my pockets. Oh. <laughs> it looks so small in the box. There's a little confetti in here. Because I need more stuff to clean up. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this over there. There's, there's literally a pile of boxes, empty boxes, that I'm gonna use to pack stuff and I needed to unbox all this stuff so I could put it all probably into one box, it'll probably fit. And I don't need to use up all these boxes on all these individual items. So, okay, so. Oh! <laughs> What a lovely surprise. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my God. I have wanted one of these forever, you guys. I have wanted one of these for so long. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> oh my God. This is the Louis Vuitton Agenda GM size. Look how good it looks. Oh my gosh. I don't remember what year this is from. I think that it's from like 2012 or something though. Um, it's not like new, new. I think I think it's from 2012 or so. I'll put it on the screen if I, if I can uh, find it on the website. I think it said what year it was made. Oh my gosh, I just love it. It feels so nice. I cannot wait to get my inserts in and put them in here. Um, like I said, I do have another size. I have a little one. This is the, I think this is called the pocket size. Um, and 
this is what it looks like on the inside. And of course this one's in monogram, but this one's in Damier Bean. I don't really have a preference. Um, the Damier Bean was just cheaper than the monogram ones by like a lot, by like three and four hundred dollars cheaper for the used ones. And this one was in the best condition out of the ones that I saw, um, but it was priced lower because it was Damier Bean and I, I don't really have a preference. I don't care. I just wanted like a really nice planner and I wanted it to look cute. And I have wanted a Louis Vuitton planner for a long time. I do like the monogram too. I think they both look good, but um, this one is just so small, which was great for me because I don't have a lot of desk space right now. Like my desk is not actually a desk. It's like a little breakfast nook table. And I've been using that as a desk since the beginning of the pandemic. And now with moving, I'm getting a real desk and it's going to have tons of desk space. And I'm going to be able to set a planner on it and actually write inside of it while it's open. I literally have no space on my desk here. So I cannot wait. I'm so excited to be able to use this at the new place and I'll probably start using it now honestly because I have a bunch of stuff to get ready. I have a bunch of stuff to plan out and I am starting my new job soon. So yeah, I'll probably start using this one here. But like I kind of want to save it so it'll be like fresh and new when I get there. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But yeah, this is the pocket versus the GM in case you guys were wondering. <laughs> this next one you would probably think is the one that I'm most excited about but it's actually not. Um, <laughs> I would I only say that because this one I ordered directly from Hermes. Let me just pull this open. <sighs> okay. So like I was saying, you might think that this is the most exciting one. This was purchased directly from the Hermes website. Um, this is one of the few things that I've purchased directly from Hermes that was not pre-owned, but with this item, it's just it's cheaper to purchase them directly from Hermes and like see them when they're in stock and just buy it directly from them. So that's what I did in this case. I love the packaging. I love this little, like, I like how it's just like plain and then it's got the cute little thing on the inside. It's so cute. Um, and I'll tell you the reason I'm not as excited about these. I'm happy that I got them because I, <laughs> I'll explain it in a minute. The beautiful orange box. <laughs> I kind of want to take a picture of this. Oh. So you can see they are shoes. And these are the Hermes orange sandal. Um, these ones have the black on black, I guess, because some of them are like tan on the bottom. I, there's probably other colors too, I'm not really sure, but like these are just the classic orange sandal and they are, what can I say about them? I, I think they're great. The reason I was saying that I'm not like the most pumped about these um, is not because anything wrong with them, but it's literally because I have these already. <laughs> um, I just have them in a, like in a different color on the bottom. Um, that's not why I bought new ones, but the, I, I bought them because they are very clearly pretty much destroyed. Um, I don't know how they're gonna be able to tell. I am going to clean these up and I'm actually going to see if I can take them to like the cobbler to like get this glued back on and kind of like fix these up a little bit because I still will keep these like they were expensive sandals and I wore them for like a year and a half um, which you would normally say like sandals shouldn't wear out like that in a year and a half however I wear these a majority of the time so if I'm wearing shoes over 50% of the time it's these shoes so <laughs> um, that's why I definitely could justify buying a new pair of them because I need a pair that looks nice around the toe area so that I don't um, just walk around looking like this honestly and I can't believe that this is what these used to look like and I don't know if the material is a little bit different now it looks like like this used to have like a, a kind of like a line that goes around but this doesn't have that so I wonder if like the toe breaking problem was an issue and then they changed it because it does look different I mean obviously this one's really beat up but it does look different around the toe so I don't know if that's the case or not um maybe not maybe this is just the same line it's just so beat up that I can't really tell I, I'm gonna be honest I'm not sure but <laughs> look how fresh and new these are I'm so excited I think they're the same size yeah um I sized up in these I also have them in tan which I love too, but those aren't destroyed because I don't wear them constantly. <laughs> um, but these literally, like I said, it's, I, I live in Arizona, so I, I wear sandals all the time. And like I said, I probably wear these shoes more than 50% of the time that I have shoes on. So these got extremely, extremely heavy wear. I have walked miles and miles and miles and miles in these. So I also hit my toe a lot when I, when I walk on concrete. I just, 
I'm, I'm not the most responsible of shoes. I'm going to try to keep these a lot better. But yeah, I got a new pair because I needed a new pair and I can't, I can't walk around looking like this all the time. I'm going to see what I can do to try to repair these um, because I do want to keep them as like a spare and I'll keep them and like throw them in my purse for when I wear heels, which I do now. Um, but this will be like my pair to do that with and this will be my pair for when I actually need to do nice things. <laughs> uh, this, I actually really didn't expect for it to come in today. Um... I didn't expect for all this stuff to line up, honestly, because I never do, like I said, I never do like larger hauls. I guess this isn't like a huge haul compared to a bunch of them on YouTube, but for me, this is a really big haul because I don't normally buy a lot of things at the same time. <laughs> all right, so, oh yes, a lot of bubble wrap. Ooh, I'm moving, I need this. <laughs> this is from The Real Real, and they're pretty awesome too because you can find some really good deals on there. And honestly, like I, I love the real real. I don't tend to purchase bags from there, but I tend to purchase clothes from there because Fashion File doesn't really have clothes. So being able to purchase uh, like consigned clothes, consigned clothes from consignment. Is that how you say that? I don't know, but being able to purchase clothes that are at a great discount is amazing. Really any type of designer clothing that like you're tempted to buy or like a belt or something like that, just check the real real first. Shoes too. I love getting shoes from the real real. Um, it's just so much of a of a money saver if you're gonna buy something anyway that's designer. Oh, I'm so excited. But this is one that I'm really excited about, especially because I'm moving to California. You might be able to tell what it is already. Oh, I love it. It is a classic Burberry trench coat. I have never had a Burberry trench coat before. And you guys, this, this was such a good price. And I hope that it like fits and everything looks good and everything. These brand new are like, I just went on the Burberry website. It's like they're like $2,300 or so. And that's a lot of money. Like I, I'm not doing that. So, so I went uh, pre-loved and I saw that a lot of them were like seven and eight hundred dollars, which is still like a better price than twenty two hundred. But then I saw this one, which was had an extra discount because it was part of their like clearance sale or something, and it was already a little bit lower priced. And this one was three hundred and thirty dollars, I believe. So a huge difference from retail. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Wow, you can tell like the quality in this, it's just amazing. Ah, oh, I'm gonna look so cute in this. I would, I would like stand up and do like a real um, try on for you guys, but like I literally only have this space. I have pants on, it doesn't look like it, but I have pants on. <laughs> I literally have this tiny space that I can work with. <laughs> so bear with me. Oh my God. I love it. Okay, so this is perfect. I love it. Um, <laughs> I was worried about the arms, and I have a jacket on underneath this, so I probably won't be wearing it with a jacket underneath or anything. But I was worried about the arms because I have like I have normally long arms for like my 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 height. I I don't know why, um, but like my arms don't look that they don't look weird in this. And I think that once I take the jacket off underneath, the arms won't look short. Um, but oh my gosh, for the deal that I got for this, I never thought that I'd like, I never thought I'd actually pull the trigger on a Burberry trench coat. I've always wanted one and I was like, well, I live in Arizona, there's no point. There's literally, I'm never gonna wear it. And now I'm moving to California where I can wear this in the mornings and at night when it's cold, I'm so excited. <laughs> That's so pretty. This is even better than I thought it would be. Honestly, on the real world, they don't have a ton of pictures for their clothes. So there might be like four or three, four pictures of a coat. I never got to see the interior. I didn't really get to see like, a, like a, it's like open and closed it's just, just like one closed picture of the front closed picture of the back and like that was pretty much it so so being able to see it in person and actually knowing that it is like better than I expected is amazing I do see that there is like some minor minor like stains like a very few of them like probably normal just wear and tear for a coat especially because this is older I have one more item that I'm going to show you guys. This is not a um, like designer item. I just wanted to share it with you guys because it just happened to come in today. I ordered this over a month ago, I think. I want to say I ordered it like a month ago. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it wasn't that long ago. It's been a while though. And I am not the biggest jewelry person. I only buy jewelry from Etsy really. Um, and I literally wear two things every day. So I have my necklace and I have an earring that is in my second ear hole. <laughs> um, I don't wear regular earrings in my earlobes because my earlobes are super sensitive. I don't know why this one is okay, but 
I like even like solid gold I can't wear anymore it just irritates my ears and I can't take it so I want to still wear jewelry though so I wanted to like you know jazz up my jewelry a little bit I don't really feel like it's worth it to buy like to me it's not worth it to buy like Cartier like a Cartier love bracelet or like a that's just not where that's not what's exciting to me so I don't do that but I totally get how it's exciting to other people because they're beautiful or like buying like Van Cleef necklaces like that's just not really me but <laughs> I got two things and the thing I love about Etsy is that you can get solid gold pieces and they are not super expensive. Um, I'll put the store that I got them from in the description, but I got this little beautiful K. Um, I think that it was very affordable, whatever it was. I don't remember how much it was exactly. And then I got, I thought this would just go perfect with the necklace that I wear all the time, just kind of layer it. Oh, it's called Darling Jew Jewelry Studio. It's, it's right on the box. <laughs> All right, and then I got, oh, it's in a bag. That was anticlimactic. It's so cute and so light. I like, like it's so like lightweight and so just, oh. So they are both um, solid gold, which is nice. I mean, they're super thin, so it's not like that much gold, but like the, the, the reason that I like that is because I, my skin is very easily irritated by like everything else. I even have problems with like silver and I just, I don't know what it is, but it seems like I can wear like less and less jewelry as my life goes on. <laughs> like as my life goes further and further, like I used to be able to wear anything and now my skin is so sensitive um, that I'm really thankful that I can get pieces like this for a reasonable price because I don't want to spend a lot of money on jewelry. Um, but I think that this is just kind of like, you know, just add a little bit. I think that that's perfect. I'm so excited about this. All right, well, they're starting to vacuum in the hallway, so I think that that's, like, my sign that I have to go. But <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really glad that you joined me for this haul video. This is one of my, like, biggest hauls in a long time. And I'm really thankful to have all of these things. And like I said, I'm really downsizing, so these are things that I've really thought heavily about and that I've wanted for a while, not just kind of spur of the moment things. I'm so excited to be able to share them with you because I think that's pretty awesome to be able to open stuff with your friends. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching. If you like this video... Or if you just want to, oh, if you like this video or if you want to see more of me and my other videos and things like that, feel free to subscribe. I will be here. And like I said, I'll be back to posting con content consistently. I am back. Also, if you want to see how I style my bags, my clothes, stuff like that, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram right here and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.